What are you doing? You appear to be sitting all over my game. That's not good. Come here. Come here. Mm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Yggdrasil. We are pressing along. We had a really good turn last time using the bonkersly powerful Odin ability. As one person pointed out in the comments, Odin was one of the weakest gods in the entire Pantheon, but uh, his trance ability, his new trance ability is crazy. In fact, the trance abilities in general are crazy. I think if you're gonna play with trance, you have to play with the harder level cards. I'll just show you what these cards are. Basically, you always have 42, which means, by the way, that there is only two turns left and we win. So there's like 12 cards left. But what I'm saying is you, you sort of swap these in for other cards. And these are Ragnarok cards, which moves a number of people at once. These move four at once. There is one that moves everybody, which is really annoying because the snake is a double move. And... Actually, I don't think, I don't think in Rag, I haven't checked the rules, but I don't think the actual abilities trigger in Ragnarok cards. And then there's also the Angry God cards, which makes them move twice. I think these are a must to use if you're playing with the trance powers, because they are crazy powerful. Okay, let's get into this. First, we have a little bit of an error. When Loki was over here and activated, he was actually at level two which means that two ice giants came out, not one. So we have two ice giants. This one is, we can't use that funny looking symbol, which I believe is this symbol here. Looks like it. So yeah, we can't use the fire pits until we kill this monster. Okay, so our biggest issue at the moment is this snake. He is past the steps of the Great Hall. So only two more into this section and we lose. And if we get to there, it's game over. So if he moves twice, we're stuffed. Now, technically we've got at least one turn leeway because I mean, if he moves there, we're still fine. We haven't lost or gained anything, but I would like to knock him back into the level six combat area if I can. What we really want to do though is kill those giants. We've got one, two, three, four here. He's got his three turns. Let's see what god we get. Yoink! It is Hell, the one that discards. We're going to start running into our Odin choices soon. Comes out of the white bag. That is bad. The white bag only has two in it, I think. Yeah, so we lose one. That's out of the game permanently. And there's only one guy in there, useless. Okay, so this snake is one to hit, uh, seven to hit. And he's currently batting one, two, three, four, which isn't very good. So I think he's gonna actually fight a ogre and he's gonna fight this ogre here, because it's a plus one to the fire god, Seth, or Seth, or whatever his name is. Okay, so we're gonna spend two monsters, and we're gonna roll your boing. Okay, bam, so that guy is dead, yoink. Goes up here, get to flip this over, then gonna push this up one, and for his last action, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and put these in the white bag. You're blank. Uh, whoops, I forgot to put his two Vikings back in the land of the dead, so let's put them there now. Now it is Sif's turn. She has the Loki sword, plus three. What you got for us? Ya boing! Ooh, it's the snake. Okay, not good. Okay, this snake just became the number one priority. Yunk. And I think we're gonna drag hell up. Now, 
she's going to use her ability to take the level three snake weapon. Now, cause she can basically access this pool three times. So she took the one, the two, and then the three. And she is now plus three versus the snake. She is then going to access this bag and there's no fire giants in here at all, we know. So this is just three pure Vikings rescued from the battlefield by the Valkyries. And then we're gonna fight this dude here. We have, we need seven to beat. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not even gonna risk a roll. And that pushes him back one. Yoink! Don't have to worry about him for a bit. Okay, and that be that. Now it is Frey's turn, yoing! And we get the fire giant, not good. So he moves one forward, that puts him into the level two zone. So we roll, black. So we pick up two of these fire guys and they just go in the black bag. And now we have Frey's go. So he's got four actions. For the first action, he is going to access this bag. Take three, one, two, three. There's no fire giants in here and that should be the empty. It's completely empty now. He's then going to spend those three straight away and kill this guy. The giant has always been the key to this game. And these guys go back in here. Wait, I've done this wrong because I'm one turn short, aren't I? Actually, we're fine. I did this right. So let's just recap. For this first action, he accessed the white bag, took three of these. Then he fought the ice giant and killed him. He's go back in here. So that's two actions. For his next action, he pushed this up one. That's three actions. And for his fourth action, He's going to activate his trance ability. Excellente. Now it's Vidar's turn and he gets to do a super duper turn. The reason I was worried was oh, I want to do another one of those big moves on that track using Frey's crazy trance power, but it actually activates for all gods. Trance is for all gods, so he doesn't actually have to activate the secret grove. So Vidar's gonna do it, baby. Now, he's actually got a very cool power that we haven't used this game where it allows all gods to help each other. They can sort of pull your Vikings. We haven't really had a huge problem. But let's just, for this first turn, we actually drag out a god card. Ooh, and it's another fire demon. Okay, bam, look at this, not good. Black bag again. You bump, you bump. There's another four going out of the black bag. Now we activate the Secret Grove. Now, and we get to activate all these abilities. So we're gonna start with the Valkyrie and we're just gonna push the Valkyrie up one. Then he gets two tokens. So these come from the land of the dead. Yeah, bam, yeah, bam. And the first of the really powerful, we get to look at the top six cards and rearrange them into any order. Now I kind of screwed this up last time because I did it in a way that Odin ended up with a uh, missing an action when we needed his action. We are one, two, three, four, five, six. At least two cards. We know what they are because of Odin's ability. Okay, so what have we got here? We know because of Odin's ability, we've been putting cards at the bottom of the deck. We know that it's usually Hell or the dog. Okay, so let's say there's one dog left to go and at least two hell, maybe two hells. So let's just have a look. One dog doesn't even get us past here. So we don't even care about the dog. Let it do whatever. Two of these will go one, two. That is still only three in here. We have one Loki. So that goes in here, who cares? So even if it's like that, we don't care. There is one fire giant, puts him into here. And there is two snakes, one, two, which puts him into here, which will lose us the game. So, one, two, 
one, one, two. So what this means is we should be able to completely win this game without any issues. So I'm going to put Loki at the top, put Hell at the top, then Loki, and Snake last. I forgot to calculate the snakes moving the last person forward. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's reordered. So we are pretty sure to win this, I think. We activate the next one, which is move one god of our choice backwards. I'm going to move the snake. And then we get to discard an ogre of our choice. Yuck. There is only one ogre left. This ice guy. He plus one to the dog. But this has killed this thing. Which means we now have a new one, two, three. God, the art is so good in this game. Anyway, so that's four. We have a new ruin. And this particular ruin is during the next three turns, the gods do not draw an enemy card from the deck. So we now have three turns to completely fix this. So even if we do nothing, we'll win. We know that the snake is going to move twice. That puts him here. We know that hell could possibly move twice. So that puts him here. We know that the dog could possibly move once. That'll put him here. We know that Loki moves once. That puts him here. We know that the snake moved once. That puts him here. And we know that that will probably move one of these guys into here. And that's it, right? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, there's gotta be more than that. Oh, because we, we did some of them twice. So basically, we should be able to just say we've won the game after these three turns. I'll be able to just say, my gods are gonna do nothing. They're just gonna go into the hall and have a party. And then we'll just draw the cards and move the guards and we should still win. But let's uh, just fiddle with these a little bit because Val Valadar has still got his turn. So I think what he's going to do is for his next turn, he's going to take the level three fire sword. And he's just going to go... Three, four, five, six. Not even got bother going to roll. It is six to knock him back now and just push him back one. I don't think that actually helps us, but we're going to do it anyway. You bam. He's then going to take him off for his second, for his third action. Now we have Frigg, who, as you know, actually, you know what he's going to do? Instead of taking an elf, He's actually going to activate his trance. Let's use his cool trance ability. Yonk. Oh, wait. That's not the one I thought it was. It's actually this guy who's got that cool trance ability that allows you to share Vikings. Okay, so he is actually going to take that elf. Yeah, so he is actually going to take that elf. So Frigg, for his first action, let's get some dudes out. The blue bag is active. Has that got stuff on it? I think that's empty. Well, that's empty as well. Everything's in the black bag. Green bag. That's empty as well. Oh my God. Okay, so he's going to go one, two, three, four, five from the land of the dead. And he's going to place them in the white bag. That's one action. Second action, you bump and take three of them. There's nothing in there. One, two. We've done terrible bag management this game because it's all been out of sync because of that crazy trance ability. He now has one, two, three, plus an elf. Oh, what's he going to do for his life? He's got nothing to do. I guess he's going to do a trade and give all his tokens to Odin. 
Now it's Odin's turn. Okay, it's Odin's turn. We don't have to draw a guard card. This is the second turn. We've got one more without drawing a card. He's going to swap this weapon for the level three. Bam. He is then going to fight hell. That is three, four, five. Hell is pushed back one. Bonk. And for his last action, again, I don't really know what to do. There's no more ogres to kill. I think what he's going to do is access the white bag. How many things are in here? So I think there's only two in there, right? That seems like a waste. I guess he's going to take another elf. It's the first time we've ever had more than one elf. And that's his third turn. Bam. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Two more cards to go. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's that. I think uh, we've pretty much won this. And I will see you guys next time. I'll probably do the next video. We'll have both the last two turns. Because it'll be just six cards plus two. So we may as well just finish it up in one more video. But I'm almost certain we're going to win. Because if I did this correctly... And assuming that I didn't misread what the last two cards are. We have been using Odin to bury the dog and hell. So these guys can probably move twice. But I think everyone else has got one move left. Maybe. We know that there's two moves of this. So one person will not get to move twice. So I'm pretty sure that if we do nothing from now on, we actually still win. But we're going to try and knock back some of the gods and get them out. The only thing we're, I'm worried about is getting three gods over to the steps and this guy getting in here but I think we'll be right okay I will see you guys next time Sneeze. Oh, that completely interrupted your purring. <laughs>